600 boy LA man, LA Capone man, get it to him man. Hey. OC2 boys man. Rockin' number nine man, number nine, shoot him, you hear me? Black TV bro. OT up Nunu man, you know how we rockin' man. Zach TV one today. Who do we have here? It's your boy Young Famous, man. You already know, man. Team 600 Famous make you famous, man. What's going on, Zach? Man, chilling, cooling, man. I just got back from New York, man. I heard you just got back from out of town, too, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna fuck that one to the A slid, to the A slid down there, you know? That's what's up, that's yeah. what's up, man. Like, how you feeling, first of all? How you feeling, man? Oh, bro, I feel good, bro. I feel great, bro. That's what's you up. Know? You got your debut mixtape about to drop. When? I told you. What's the date? October 2nd, bro. October 2nd, 2015. Your yeah, first. My first official solo mixtape. Solo. Yeah. By yourself. Yeah. On yeah. the court, that, like, like, like how, how do that feel for you, man? How do that yeah, feel? Shit, it, it feels good, bro. You know what I'm saying? She's just grinding, just working. Trying to see, you know what I'm saying? Trying to see where I'm at with the music, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I love, I love the music. Bro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, shit feels good, bro. Now, how many joints do you have on your mixtape? How many? So, um, as of right now, bro, I done never did down to 17, bro, because I, as you can see on my Instagram, bro, I done load, uploaded like a hundred songs, bro. Man. Like, I done showed my playlist of songs in my in my iTunes, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got like a hundred songs, but I done never did down to 17. Um, I'm really trying to get it down to, to like, to like 14. 14 joints? 14 with like one or two skits, you know what I'm saying? But, okay. Hell yeah, yeah, bro. It's no pushbacks. It def definitely be out, man. On the second. For real. What sites can the people check for that joint at? Oh, shit. My mixtapes, man. So Damn, it's going to be on my mixtapes? My mixtapes, bro. Most yeah, yeah. definitely. You got, a, you got a host for that? Yeah, Illinois Jones, man. Yeah. Shout out to what? Illinois Jones, man. <laughs> a host? What? Yeah, you know, man. My Shout out my cuddy, man. You know what I'm saying? That's my real blood cousin, man. Shout out oh, Illinois for real? Jones. Yeah, that's blood. Damn, man. Actually, man, the story, the story about Famous, bro. My name itself, it came from him, bro. I was just about to ask you that. Like, yeah. how did you come up with that thing, young thing? Like, how you make that? Like, what's up? Bro, like, I we was in a school one day. Um, It was me, Jones, Hudo, and Ide. Um, and this was like, like we had already, already had our first track, you know what I'm saying? Everybody called me Hasi, you feel me? Hasi or F, you feel me? I used to, bro, like, shout out to Wayne, man. They used to call me High CF Baby, man. Please say the baby, man. But For yeah, real? Yeah, bro. So, Jones was like, man, nah, man, that can't be your name, man. Ooh, the F got to stand for something. He, bro, you already famous, bro. Ooh, ooh. So, he, the young famous. And this came from nothing. Wow. You feel me? Yeah. Um, the famous make you famous part, that, that came from Ide, man. You know what I'm saying? But. It's a, it's, it's a little deeper than that, but, you know what I'm saying, famous make you famous here, it puts you on the news, you hear me? Mmm, <laughs> that's what's up, man. But shout out to Ide, man, you know what I'm saying? It started from him, you know what I'm saying, but yeah. So the name came from Illinois Jones, your, your blood cousin, then the famous make you famous, the slogan for your name came yeah. from your homie Ide. Exactly. Now, mentioning Ide, um, what's your role in Team 600, bro? My role? You know what I'm saying? I'm a co-CEO, you know what I'm saying? Um... He they, he 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 the, he the CEO of Team Six Hundred. You know what I'm saying? He he was out there first. You know what I'm saying? Doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? But behind behind the music. You know what I'm saying? We we know what it is. You know what I'm saying? But shit, you know that's bro. You know what I'm saying? Bro been out there pushing it, holding the squad down. You know? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Shout out shout out to E Day too, man. Of course, shout out big shout out to E Day. You know? So you know what I'm saying? With Team Six Hundred going so so strong on the streets, you got Dadarachi driving mixtapes, yeah. Breezy. Um, Hudo, E Day dropping multiple mixtapes. Yeah. Uh, uh, why did you wait so late to drop a, a solo joint? See, actually, bro, I'm a team player, bro. You know okay. what I'm saying? You know, you gotta wait your turn, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I sit back, I push, bro. Now, you know what I'm saying? When it's time to step up, it's time to step up. You know what I'm saying? We done lost a lot of people out here. You feel me? Long live LA. You know what I'm saying? Free Ryan, oh, free, free CA. You know what I'm saying? Free, free 22, free nine. Free gang. You know what I'm saying? But that's the beauty about Team Six Hundred, bro. You feel me? Mm. When, 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 when one person gone, bro, another nigga got to step up, bro. You feel me? Wow. And that's really what it is, bro. We ain't gonna. Our legacy could never die, bro. Most definitely. You feel me? As you can see. Yeah, yeah, I see. As I'm you can see. Stronger. Yeah, as you can see, you feel me? 
Man, how did you make that transition? Because, you know, I, I'm in the street, so I had, I know you was in the street. I don't want to talk about that on camera, but you know what I'm saying? Famous, make you famous. <laughs> but how did you go from the streets to the big screen, you know, acting, to the yeah. studio as an artist? Like, them three different transitions. Okay. How did you make that, bro? All right, bro. See? See, you're going to get down to the nitty gritty, bro. Uh -oh. That's why I call my boy Zach. You feel man, me? Man, man. Come on, man. I'm getting better and better, baby. But, um, see, I was always, I was always a rapper. You feel me? I was always an artist, not just a rapper. You feel me? Um, I was with the Bezel Boys. It started, it started off as me, Hudo, Chief Rio. Shout out to Chief Rio. Rio got me rolling. Shout out to him. Hold up, the comedian? Yeah. Yo, he was a rapper? Yeah, bro? bro. He was a rapper, bro. He was battling on IG, though. He like, was a rapper, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, bro, 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 bro. Yeah. But it was me, Hudo, Chief Rio. Rio got me rolling. And, um, and Ide, that's who started it from the beginning, from the get-go. You feel me? Um, Hudo had called me up one day like, yeah, bro, I'm finna go to the stool. I laughed like, you finna go well? You feel me? Whole time, Diddy Boy, Diddy Boy is, is Hudo's br brother. You okay. feel me? He had the stool. You feel me? Shout out Diddy Boy, too. Because if it weren't for him, we wouldn't even be Team 600. We wouldn't even be us. You feel me? But, um, yeah, so... Shit, it was me, Hudo, it was me, Hudo, Ide, and Rio. We all went to the store and shit, you know what I'm saying? We met, dropped a couple songs together, you feel me? Ide like, Ide like, nah, oh, man, well, it's too many of us. So Ide burst off and did, a, did his thing, you feel me? So, you basically said Ide was originally a, a part of Bezel Boys? Yeah, he was, he was wow, a part of the Bezel Boys, bro. You know what I'm saying? So after that, um, as time went on, you feel me? The Bezel Boy, the Bezel Boy started doing shows, you know what I'm saying? Future shows, Future and Ide, Ide was doing shows with us, you feel me? But Ide was always Ide, you feel okay. me? Okay. Solo yeah, artist. Yeah, he was solo artist, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I, when you asked me about this being my debut mixtape, that's why I said, you know what I'm saying, this is my first solo Oh, because you've been had choice yeah. with it. Okay, yeah. makes so, sense, makes sense, man. Yeah, but um, yeah, bro, and that's really what it was, you know what I'm saying? It started from there, and shit. And bro, you wouldn't believe how long ago that was, bro. Wow. So it started from now. Now, let's talk about what motivated you to become a rapper. Because you, we, we talked about the transition, but what made you say, okay, I'm, finna, I'm about to do this? Like, um, It was, it, it, that started in grammar school, bro. Like, so you been had it, didn't you? Bro, my first, I wrote my first rap in grammar school, bro. Damn, do you remember it? Yeah, I remember it. Get the fuck out of here. I can't remember it, bro. It was only a couple bars, like four, five bars, but... Yeah, I'll spit it for you. Yeah, man, what's up, man? We all ears. Uh, what I say? I say, I say, I was born in Cook County Hospital on a Thursday. 51889 is my birthday. When I came out, the doc, when I, what I say? I say, when I came out, my mama won't doc said it'd be the worst day. Niggas be counting down on the calendar like every day was a curse. I can't really remember all this uh, shit. The shit was dope, bro. The shit you was been dope. like that back in Grumps? Yeah, bro. 7th grade? Yeah. Come on. Crazy man, yeah, yeah. crazy. But yeah, but um, the, the the transition from me from me becoming a a rapper to an actor and back to rapping, bro. I was only acting just for from publicity. Yeah, Promotion. you feel me? When I when and and actually, bro, if it wasn't for Rio, shout out to Rio again, bro. If it wasn't for him, I would have never ever ever touched the camera as far as acting, bro. You feel me? He hit me up like, yeah, woo, woo, woo. I've been watching this TV show called The Real Awakening, woo, 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 woo. whatever. So I'm like, yeah, he, yeah, bro. He, um, he, they got auditions. You want to slide? I'm no, nah, bro. Hell no. Nah. He ain't had no whip at the time, so I took him. He like, come in with me. I came in with him or whatever. You feel me? And they basically persuaded me to, to try out. You right. feel me? I tried out. And you know, I always been, you know what I'm saying, me. Sweet, fly. Yeah, so I walk in there, the girls get to going crazy, you know what I'm saying? So I liked it, that feeling, so I'm, oh, oh yeah, I might as well go ahead and try it out. Yeah, no. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what that was really about. But it was all publicity for, for, for my rap, you know what I'm saying? But shit, that shit did some shit for me that I couldn't do with the rapping in, in a matter of months, bro. Wow. Shout out to Dante Fame too, man. Shout out to Dante Fame, man. We that was the director, you know what I'm saying? That was the director of the TV show, The Real Awakening, man. But yeah. And, and, and for for those who, who's been sleeping under a rock, man, it's a Chicago-based um, urban 
show, and he played the role of Seven. Yeah, the main character. The main character. Yeah. Who getting a lot of ass? Uh, ah. Now, okay, do you <laughs> see yourself doing any um, up and coming films, any up and coming projects? Huh? Definitely, bro. Hell yeah, bro. Bro, rapping and acting, bro. I love that shit, bro. That's dope. You That's, know what dope. I'm That's my life, bro. Tell so, me. you 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 say um, you just grew with Ede one point in time, and he branched off to a soul artist. Mm -hmm. He was with Hudo. I was in a group. Like, how long have you known personally the members of Team Sakana? Oh, bro, since we were shorty, bro. Since we was since backyard days, bro. So y'all really grew up bro. from the mud. Like, yeah, bro. We ain't no put together set, bro. Oh wow, you know what I'm saying we we ain't, ain't none of us been put together, bro. Mm. Pieces, none, none of that, bro. Everybody grew up on the same block. Still, the still the same block that we still be on today. Wow, the, the bricks. bricks. Yeah, the bricks, bro. Wow, you know what I'm saying. So growing up together is, in your honest opinion, because we spoke briefly about this last time I saw you. Um, is loyalty a big deal yeah, with you? Definitely, bro. Loyalty is everything, bro. Everything, bro. Cause it's it's a lot of disloyal you ass niggas out here. Okay. You know? So if you if you find find loyal you niggas, bro. If you anybody around you that's loyal, you, bro, you gotta keep them around you, bro. Them the people you need around you, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can't fall out with money. You can't fall out over over females. It, if, if females is around you that's loyal, you keep you definitely true. keep them around. True, you super feel? true, super true. Cause bro. them them yeah. the ones that's gonna have you when you when you ain't got shit. You feel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. Loyalty is definitely a okay. Thing. Being in in the, in the city of Chicago, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of different artists everywhere. Mm -hmm. Do you feel you're being overlooked in any way, shape, form, or fashion? No, bro. No, bro. Timing is everything, bro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We already strong, bro. Team Six Hundred strong. You know what I'm saying? I love the fans, man. They're going to rock out with whatever Team 600 got going on. You okay. feel me? And that's loyalty. That's a part of loyalty. You feel I me? I remember you spoke about yeah. that. So, but timing is everything. You know what I'm saying? I sat back and I let, let bro know. You know what I'm saying? Take take the lead. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And when it was my time, now it's time to step up. You feel me? That's true. Y'all heard it first. Bro. Now, um, speaking of fashion, you a fly motherfucker. Pause. Super, super pause, man. But... Like you be having that fashion shit on ice, like. That's what's up. Describe your style for the people, man. Man, you know what I'm saying. I just feel like. I just feel like appearance is everything, bro. You know what I'm saying. Okay. Definitely, when when people look at you, bro, before they even before they even hear you speak, bro, they gotta be they gotta be able to take to you. You feel me? So okay. that's you look good, you feel good. Like can't, for the, for the people out there, can you please just put your sneakers on the glass table? This shit is dope, super dope. Jeremy Scotts? Yeah, bro. You know? Little, little something. Like, that's the shit Wayne and Joel's gonna be wearing. Like, all the fly, fly, fly people, yeah, man. man. Rain, shout out to my homie Rain. Rain 910. Like, like what, what's, what, what's up with that? Like, do you, like, is matching a, like, you care about matching? You like, as long as it's just designer. Like, oh, yeah, you definitely, you know what I'm saying? You can, nah, bro. You can mismatch the designer, bro. You know what I'm saying? That mm -hmm. matching shit, that shit don't mean nothing, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no stylus. I don't think I have too much need. You don't got a stylus? No, bro. Everything I do is me. You know what I'm saying? Wow. What's the best outfit you ever had on that you like, yo, I was lit that day. I was super fly. Oh, um, you'll have to go back on my IG. It's a, it's a IG. I had on a little Bugatti sweater. You feel me? What the, what's that? Yes. <laughs> Marshall is it similar to Marshall? No, nah, it's, it's up there though. You know what I'm saying? It's up there. It's a little Bugatti. It's a little... Decent little label, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't know about it, man, but yeah, I had on a little Bugatti sweater with a cardigan, a uh, scar, okay. you know what I'm saying? Tims, you know? You know, mm -hmm. you know, you gotta keep it keep it casual with the, with the... You know? Most definitely. What, what type of, uh, are you a PRP type of dude, true religion? Robins? Bro, Antique denim? If it's, if it's popping, bro. You in it? If it not, not even if it's popping, if it's fly, I'm in it, bro. Mm, that's dope. I don't, I don't really care too much about a name, none of that, bro. That don't mean shit to you. Yeah, no, bro. It ain't it ain't what you wear, it's who wear. It. You Ooh, feel? it ain't what you wear, it's who wear. It. That's yeah, what's up, man. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta make this style. It's how you wear. It. It's how you yeah, get yeah. flat with the shit. Exactly. Are you like a like? Would you rock some slow bucks? You familiar with that? Yeah, I rock slow bucks. Okay, so I ain't I ain't looking like a bum. No, 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 no. I'm trying to. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that right from you because you. Yeah, I'll, I'll rock the slow bucks. Okay, shout out to slow bucks. They got me right in New York too, man. That's huh? what's up.